Rudy Giuliani has spent the past year operating under the assumption that acting as Donald Trump's criminal defense attorney would somehow shield him from the numerous criminal scandals that have his own fingerprints all over them. But apart from Rudy's own admission last summer that the Dodge Inspector General was investigating how he knew the FBI's actions in advance during the election, we haven't had any proof that Rudy is under investigation until now. Now that the House Judiciary Committee has finished sending its initial round of document requests, which it said were merely an effort to catch up with similar requests that have already been made by other investigators, the committee is launching into its next round. That'll include subpoenas for those who failed to comply with the first round. It'll also include some new names, including Rudy Giuliani. This is according to the Wall Street Journal, which says that the committee is about to request documents from Rudy Giuliani and others who are alleged to have been involved in Donald Trump's plot to dangle a pardon at Michael Cohen in an effort to keep Cohen from cooperating. We think this is significant for two reasons. First, the committee clearly isn't worried about the fact that Rudy is Trump's attorney. Nor should they be, as dangling a pardon to keep someone from testifying is an act of felony obstruction of justice. When an attorney and client conspire together to commit a crime, it isn't covered by attorney-client privilege. Second, this means the House Judiciary Committee plans to publicly make a big deal out of the fact that Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani conspired together to commit crimes. We won't be shocked if the committee ends up forcing Rudy to testify in front of the TV cameras. Rudy doesn't appear to be taking the news well, as he tweeted last night that the investigation was a witchant. Wait, what?